It's time now for tonight's Sterling Health feature with Travis Sterling of Sterling Physical Therapy. They're contracted with Pella High School for on-site injury evaluations. And tonight's topic is the financial aspect of health care. There's, of course, been a lot of talk in the news about a national health care system and, and, of course, the ever-rising costs of health care. Uh, how do you suggest that people in this economy, how do you kind of suggest that they evaluate spending their health care dollars? Yeah, that's a great question and something we get all the time, and, and we're obviously sensitive to it. We always suggest conservative uh, unless we see something that's clear cut that needs something uh, more specialized or expensive. And I'll use uh, you know an example of an MRI versus physical therapy. If you have an MRI right away at the drop of a hat, you know that could be anywhere from a thousand into $1,500. Typically, it's something you have to pay out of pocket for with most plans versus, you know, physical therapy, um, you know, that's covered under your insurance plan. And, you know, hopefully we get you better and then you don't need the MRI at all and, and you're back on the field or back at work. You know, there's there's two different ways, basically, that, that the costs get covered. There's either the out-of-pocket costs that you talked about or there's also the uh, the, the health insurance. Uh, what should people know about the health care payments and, and kind of that relationship with you as a provider? Every Everybody's confused by insurance. Uh, even we are. There was something that just came out recently at a uh, congressional uh, Ways and Means hearing um, where they were talking about, you know, how uh, payment is uh, negotiated, literally, um, for uh, health care providers. And basically, big entities like a hospital or a national chain, they negotiate with the health insurance companies, and uh, they can negotiate higher prices versus a small, uh, you know, locally owned place like ours we're small, we don't carry much weight with the insurance company. And so what the insurance company allows us is less than a hospital or a national physical therapy chain. So in essence, if you come to us, it saves you money, but also saves your insurance company money. And then in turn, when next year comes around, your insurance premiums don't rise because we're cheaper than, again, the hospital or the national chain. Very interesting. Uh, What do you think about the consolidation of of healthcare services or those large national chains? You know, I I think there's a number of things. Um, again, I, I talked about that ways and means hearing, brought it up that uh, this increases the control of market share, um, which leads to lack of competition. And we know with lack of competition, uh, that's a big problem. Prices will skyrocket. Uh, second thing, when you're referred inside of a hospital, national chain, whatever it is, you need to ask yourself, why is it happening? Um, was I given a choice? You know, and I'm an American. I'm big on competition just like football in college, uh, it makes you better. And when there's competition, it gives people more choices. And finally, you know, sometimes communication is brought up as an issue to have the big consolidated health groups. But for us, really, that's not an issue. We know all the local doctors have a great relationship with all of them, just like you see us working with Dr. Bruxfort uh, on the sidelines at away Pella games. Um, If we have a question or concern, we just call them up on the phone. The communication really isn't an issue. We'd like to say thanks to our uh, guest on the Sterling Health feature, Travis Sterling of Sterling Physical Therapy, where they provide you with the Sterling standard of care.